Okay, hi everyone. Um, I've just been going through and um, having a look at my NAS for free install, and this is my test um, install box. And I added a, another disk in it so I could do some other videos. And um, what I found is that I've come across a fairly common problem um, of inserting new disks into a current RAID uh, setup. So, as you can see here, um, I've got the latest version, um, which is the 91018.47 revision, and that's the latest one. Um, so what I've done is I've gone in and I added um, a new disk, and it's inserted it, as you can see, in ADA1. Um, you can see 0, 2, and 3 are part of a pool, um, and one is the UFS file that I uh, hard drive that I just put in. The problem that we're coming up against, if, if I go to format and I go choose, it's coming up with the wrong um, ADA file, so it's only allowing me to pick um, ADA3, but um, as you'll notice, ADA3 is part of pool, is ADA1 that I want to format. And I've been, I've done all the usual stuff, um, and nothing seems to work and so I've been reading around and obviously it's a bug so I'm just going to go through and how you can manually go through and edit um, to get it to pick up this properly rather than going around and del backing everything up deleting it um, and then re-importing it so but before we go ahead make sure everything's backed up as this may damage your system so make sure everything's backed up properly before you go ahead and do this. So the first thing we're going to do is um, this is on an embedded install by the way so the problem with embedded is that um, the USB flash drive is mounted read only. So the problem with that is um, what we've got to do is we've got to go and edit this config file which is um, part of the compact, the compact flash um, read-only boot. So what we have to do is we have to go and unmount it, um, make the changes, and then um, and save it, and then remount it so that we can, when we reboot, um, it'll save the changes. So the problem here is in this uh, config XML file. So the first thing we're going to have to do is unmount it. So we use this command. So we've unmounted the compact flash there. Then we remount it um, with read write access. Uh, okay, and then now we can go and edit the um, config.xml. I'm just going to maximize this okay so we can see it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down keep scrolling down until we see what we're after so here this is getting close interfaces um, disks okay so this is in here it's saying that um, this is the ADA 0 the first disk see it's picked up the disk 1, ADA1 there, It's that's the model of the new disk, which is fine, but that's, so it's picked it up, so that's not the problem, the problem is in the pool setup, which is a bit further down, I think, here we go, so here, this is where we want it, so we want to find ZFS, so you can see here, it's pooled 0, 1 and 2, but clearly, we want 0, 2 and 3 because we've added this new disk. So what we'll do is all we need to do here is go and change this to 2 and 3 and then we'll write that out and you can see it allowed us to write it and then we'll exit and uh, that should be pretty much it. 
um, and now if we go and reboot this uh, the server the NAS sorry we'll go and reboot and we'll be right back when it boots up okay so it's rebooted um, now let's go into disk management everything is still fine now we want to go into format and you can see now I can actually pick the right disk I want to format because it's currently formatted and I want to format as a ZFS pool let's just go and do that okay finished let's go back to disk management and you can see now the uh, disk one there it's obviously it's a little bit different than the others it's got a different model and a different uh, description and now it is a, a ZFS pool storage device so yeah I hope that helps um, thanks for watching